The story begins at Mount Kunlun, a flowering cloud peak. We can see a man practicing martial arts. At this point, he swung his sword, and he jumped off. Then he landed safely. However, there was a little hut behind him, and a senior master was carrying a baby. This senior master told the baby that they were in Mount Kunlun. According to the senior master, it was one of the best among the nine great sects, a sanctuary of Taoism, the Kunlun sect. All of a sudden, this senior master was shocked, and he was looking at the baby, and he asked him why did his cute face turn so glum. Then he pinched the baby's nose and told him that he was showing the outstanding achievements of his sect to him. The senior master asked him if he liked it, but the baby just sighed, and he smirked at that moment. However, this baby was the protagonist of this story, and he was Zhang Guang. At this point, they were looking at the guy who was practicing his martial arts skills, and Zhang Guang was confused if martial arts was a joke, and according to him, only full of pretense. Zhang Guang was moving his head and the senior master noticed it. Then he asked him if he was worried about his master. However, he told him that it was okay, there would come a day when he could also flew through the sky like that. At this point, this guy flies in. Zhang Guang smiled at that moment, but he was confused if that was flying through the sky or if he just flapping around. Nonetheless, according to him, he really flew through the sky. Suddenly, the senior master pinched his face and he was asking Zhang Guang what he was thinking about since he was looking so smug. But according to Zhang Guang that was all in his past. However, the senior master told him that he looked excited and it seemed like he wanted to look good in front of him. Then Zhang Guang was shocked after hearing it. According to him, he was not sure. This guy was unnecessarily wasting his torrent of energy. Besides, he can just jump to move around and Zhang Guang doesn't get why he has to fly. At this point, this guy was doing his eight great patterns of cloud dragon. Dragonic path to the ninth heaven. Zhang Guang was startled and based on him, he still acknowledged that the master was as cool as those from the justice faction. Then this master was doing flying sword. Dragon fangs wave, but Zhang Guang was confused about aren't they using such stinky names just for those forms of poking. But compared to that, he will not say it and he was curious about what use is it now. Nonetheless, this senior master was shocked and speechless at that moment while he was looking at Zhang Guang. Then he was stunned and confused about how the young baby got abandoned in the mountains. All of a sudden, the senior master touched Zhang Guang's head. And he just felt annoyed, and in his mind, he wanted them to beat him. However, in this previous life, he was the leader of the heavenly demon cult but he didn't take that position because he wished for it. If only the previous leader weren't his father, he would have escaped earlier. What's worse is his father, that bastard was too weak in martial arts to be called the leader, so he had to protect him. He had a long life, and thanks to that, he had to act as the younger leader for 100 years. That's how long unworthy opponents came at him. At that moment, Zhang Guang was mad. Then all of a sudden, he swung his swords and all of them were hit. Zhang Guang spent a hundred years sending people to the other world. In the end, everyone bowed before him. It took one hundred years to give up even when they had no skills, and they were poisonous bastards. And when he thought things were getting a bit easier, his father suddenly died, he hated being the leader, but for the time being, he decided to give it a try because of the time he endured. But even one year didn't pass and he also died, and he thought it was the end. All of a sudden, he opened his eyes and he saw a man in front of him. This man looked so shocked and he was confused about how come a newborn baby was in a place like this. Instantaneously, he carried the baby and this guy told him not to worry now and that he could come with him. Starting that day, when Zhang Guang opened his eyes, he had turned into a newborn baby, and Heo Chung from the Kunlun sect found him and brought him there. However, according to this senior master, it was Dido Tianzun's wish that Heo Chung found him. It seems he was predestined to be there from the beginning. Dido Tianzun is a term in Taoism used to refer to a high god. Therefore, the senior master was putting his hopes on him, and this baby smirked and in his mind, it was obvious. According to Zhang Guang the senior master must want him to become the best warrior in Murum. Then suddenly, the senior master told him to grow up quickly. Zhang Guang was shocked and puzzled at that moment. Then the senior master said no, 
People have different standards and it may be hard for Zhang Guang to grow quickly. He will rectify his words and he pleases Zhang Guang to become someone who will protect what he believes is right until the end. Then Zhang Guang was just startled while looking at the senior master. Nonetheless, Heo Chung called the senior master's master and he told him that Zhang Guang was too young, so he was worried, and he told him that they would head back. Then the senior master followed him immediately. Instantaneously, they were leaving the mountain and the senior master told Heo Chung that he was worried about how they'd feed Zhang Guang. According to him, they've been receiving help the last few days, but they can't keep doing so. Then Heo Chung said that the junior brothers said they'd hired a nanny, and they would check them out. The senior master laughed and told him that he was all better than him. Meanwhile, they already arrived in the hall. Then Zhang Guang was stunned, and he was confused about what this animal was in front of. At this point, there were many servants in front and they were greeting the senior master at that moment. Then the senior master was glad that the leader gathered valuable people. Zhang Guang was shocked after he heard that the senior master was telling the servant that he'd like to ask the helpers to come by occasionally, but the milk of mountain goats would work fine on ordinary days. Then Zhang Guang was confused if that mountain goat was his nanny. All of a sudden, he moved his feet and said that he didn't like it. Then they were looking at the baby and according to the senior master, it looked like Zhang Guang's feelings must be hurt. Heo Chung laughed and told him that he thought he was caring for him a little bit too much. Then the senior master asked him if it looked that way, but he told him that Zhang Guang and all of them are equally precious to him. After hearing it, Zhang Guang was shocked and according to him, he'd been watching over the senior master for the past few days. He's such an amazing guy for influencing his subordinates with good virtue. As expected of a great elder of Kunlun, a prestigious justice faction sect. It shouldn't be shocking that he's nicknamed the Sage of Virtue amongst the three sages of Kunlun. His personality is incomparable to the seniors of the heavenly demon cult. At that moment, Zhang Guang was confused about what would have happened to him if he had met someone like this in his previous life. And to be honest, he was curious. About a warm life, entangled between people, instead of killing and being killed. So he was satisfied right now that this place is that kind of place. All of a sudden, Heo Chung was shocked and he told the senior master that Zhang Guang knows how to smile. Then senior master just smiled and he asked Zhang Guang if he knew that they were smiling because of him. Zhang Guang smiled and in his mind, he was really satisfied. But suddenly, he looked sad and said that he was wrong and that this was not a place where people could live. According to him, it's just all grass on the table. The clothing is also ridiculous. The Taoists even endure the blowing wing in thin clothing. He also heard that they only wear one piece of clothing through the four seasons. On top of that, they all sleep in a cramped and collapsing room. This is a life of poverty beyond frugality. And because there's nothing to do every day, what they only do is read damned books. Heo Chung told him that in any case, the Tao is clear and turbid, moving and still. Seeing emptiness is emptiness, but emptiness isn't what it actually is. If he gets greedy, it will turn into anguish. Anguish and delirious thoughts will torment his body and heart. But Zhang Guang was annoyed, and according to him, his head was already empty, and he was already tormented, and he wanted to leave. Zhang Guang was moving suddenly, and Heo Chung was shocked while looking at him. At that moment, Zhang Guang was confused about how this could be a great sect of Murum, and based on him, it was just a Taoist temple. A clean and secluded place in the deep mountains where Taoists lead their lives. However, Heo Chung came closer to him and he was checking Zhang Guang at that moment. Then he was confused if he was feeling stuffy but suddenly, he was punched in his jaw, and Heo Chung said that it happened to be the time for milk. Meanwhile, after one month, Zhang Guang was the one who got the goat milk. He pinched this goat's breast. But he can't get any milk at this point. According to him, even this goat has stopped responding no matter how much he torments it. Just after one month of living in Kunlun, even this bastard has become like those Taoists. Zhang Guang was confused about whether he would become the same. All of a sudden, Zhang Guang sat beside Heo Chung and he was startled at that moment. Then Zhang Guang was mad and he was moving his head and he told himself to stop imagining horrible things. Just as how fish can't thrive in clear water, this isn't a place where people like him can live. According to him, 
He needs his worldly time. He needs to master martial arts quickly, and leave this place. Meanwhile, after a year, these people were glad when they saw him and the lady in the center asked him what is his name. Then he told them that he was Zhang Guang. All of a sudden, they were pinching Zhang Guang's face and scratching his head because of his cuteness. Instantaneously, they left and they were waving their hands. Zhang Guang just sighed and according to him, he will forget Muram. He can't even get away from the hands of everyday people. At this point, Zhang Guang was observing the people who were practicing martial arts. According to him, he does have to acquaint himself with martial arts. Since his body is young, he can't learn martial arts, let alone run properly. But that doesn't mean he should wait for his body to get older. It's too early for physical training, and he'd just practice QI concentration. It is a breathing technique to generate QI and control it. If he wants fast progression, starting with familiar demonic arts will. All of a sudden, Zhang Guang was shocked. When he saw these two men doing Agile First Strike and Cloud Dragon Ascension. Zhang Guang said that it looks pretty cool when performed correctly. But he was suddenly startled and he asked himself why didn't he think of that. According to him, if he uses martial arts from the heavenly demonic cult, it'll lead to an endless fight with the Justice Faction guys. In that case, nothing will change compared to his previous life. Zhang Guang clenched his fists and said that he wanted to live a free life in this second opportunity that he'd got, so he couldn't let this happen. However, martial arts from Kunlun is a different story. Then he smiled and according to him, it is the most mysterious sect out of the nine great sects, Kunlun. And he'd gain respect from just being a student of Kunlun. All of a sudden, Zhang Guang was startled when Heo Chung grabbed him and asked him if he was watching his older brothers. Then he was carried by Heo Chung and he called him master. Heo Chung was glad and he told him that yes, his master was there. However, he told Heo Chung that he wanna learn inner QI techniques. After hearing it, Heo Chung was shocked at that moment. All of a sudden, he was glad and he lifted up Zhang Guang, and he told him that he was already speaking like that, it was strange yet wonderful. But Zhang Guang was annoyed and he was telling his master that he wanna learn inner QI techniques. Nonetheless, Heo Chung was rubbing his face to Zhang Guang, and he was telling him that he'd teach him when he got a bit older. Right now, the most important thing is eating and sleeping well. All of a sudden, Zhang Guang punched his face and Heo Chung told him that it hurt. Zhang Guang was mad and he was confused about Heo Chung don't have no intention of teaching him. But according to him, he's not one to just stay put. Meanwhile, in the middle of the night, Master Heo Chung was meditating at that moment. Then Zhang Guang was just angrily looking at him. According to him, even though Heo Chung won't teach him, he can just observe him from behind and learn. The basis of inner QI training is concentrated breathing. Each faction differs in rhythm and quantity, but it's a breathing technique in the end, so it won't be difficult for him, the heavenly demon. Also, when he first arrived at Kunlun, he was treated by the elders, and thanks to them his QI center was cleansed and strengthened. Zhang Guang was planting clean seeds of QI into his healthy QI center. He'd be able to achieve amazing results if he stuck to the basics. Just like that, rain poured, leaves fell, snow fell, and buds started to sprout. Meanwhile, months passed by. Heo Chung told Zhang Guang that he has become five years old this year. They will slowly start martial arts training. We'll start by going over the basis of inner QI breathing techniques. Zhang Guang was confused and he asked him if it was the great sky QI arts. But Heo Chung was shocked and he just laughed. Then he told Zhang Guang that learning how to breathe quickly takes priority. However, Zhang Guang said that he already knew how to do that. He'd expanded his QI center and gathered inner QI already. All of a sudden, Heo Chung was shocked after hearing it. Then he forced Zhang Guang that he will take a look at it. He immediately touched Zhang Guang's stomach and, suddenly, he was shocked when he felt something. Then Zhang Guang just smiled and Heo Chung was confused about what a sturdy and massive QI center. But Zhang Guang told Heo Chung that he copied him when he was breathing. After hearing it, Heo Chung was shocked and he was confused that Zhang Guang reached that level just by imitating and according to him, that was impossible. But Zhang Guang told him that it worked and he asked his master if it didn't work. At that moment, 
Heo Chung was shocked and speechless. According to him, he checked himself, so he didn't have anything to complain about. It's flustering, but one thing is for sure. His disciple is a genius. Instantaneously, Heo Chung lifted him up again and told him that there was no time for that. Meanwhile, at this point, these seniors were gathered in this room. Then suddenly, Heo Chung and Zhang Guang came and Heo Chung was calling his master uncle. But these seniors were all shocked at that moment. Nonetheless, one senior asked him what is it. Then Heo Chung told them that his disciple was a genius. But all of them were just speechless. Heo Chung was laughing and he told them that they can't teach Zhang Guang the usual way and they must teach him in a way fit for a genius. But one senior asked if Zhang Guang did speak quite early for his age, and another senior said that he is an extraordinary child. Nevertheless, Heo Chung told them that Zhang Guang was talented and he was not joking. They can also examine Zhang Guang's QI center. Instantaneously, one senior came closer to Zhang Guang and he was about to check his QI center. Then he touched Zhang Guang's stomach. And all of them were shocked at that moment. They were confused about how could this be possible and other seniors said that the Dao Tianzu is really over Kunlun. Then the senior in the center said that they would teach him inner QI breathing techniques right away. But one senior was confused and said that he was not sure if it was right to teach a five-year-old inner QI techniques. Then the senior at the center said that it could be dangerous. Suddenly, this senior master was stunned and told them that he'd look after him with Heo Chung to teach him inner QI techniques. Then the senior on his front were both shocked and one of them asked him if will he really do it. But he told them that his QI center may have been destroyed, but he can teach him to sense QI. Then this man told him that it was not what he was talking about, and Zhang Guang was startled at that moment. Zhang Guang was stunned and he was confused about what happened to the QI of the old senior master. However, he believes that the senior will tell him someday. Then the senior on the left said that he'd be the first will teach him the lesser sky QI arts. Meanwhile, in the forest, they already started the training and the old senior master told Zhang Guang that everything was in order. They will go over every step to ensure internal stability. At this point, Zhang Guang was meditating, and the senior master was startled while looking at Zhang Guang. According to him, it was outstanding progress, and he's learned everything he taught him over the past three years. Then suddenly he smiled and in his mind, yes, Zhang Guang took everything from him and made it his own. All of a sudden, Zhang Guang called him and the senior master asked him what is it. Then Zhang Guang told him that he thought he'd reached the lesser sky, but he was curious about something, and it was the lesser sky. After hearing it, the senior master was shocked and he asked Zhang Guang what he meant. According to Zhang Guang, he thought he'd reach the greater sky as well and he told the senior master to please take a look. Then the senior immediately touched his back and he told Zhang Guang to go ahead. And he'd begin to take a look at it. Then while he was checking Zhang Guang's QI, the senior master was shocked suddenly. He was confused how could this happen that Zhang Guang surpassed the lesser sky instantaneously. According to him, Zhang Guang truly reached the greater sky. But he was startled and he was confused if is this even possible. Then suddenly, Zhang Guang glanced at him and asked him if he'd reached the greater sky, and the senior master told him yes. Zhang Guang told the senior master that he wouldn't have to learn the greater sky QI arts and he was begging him to teach him the supreme sky QI arts so that he could go all the way. But this senior master was shocked and he asked Zhang Guang how he managed that. Then Zhang Guang smirked and told him that he just did. Meanwhile, the senior master was heading to the hall and he was carrying Zhang Guang at that moment. When he entered, he called the other senior masters. And he told them that the sect needs to celebrate. But all of them were just speechless at that moment. Then all of a sudden, they were glad after knowing that Zhang Guang reached the Great Sky QI Arts. However, the senior master behind Zhang Guang said that he can't believe he learned the Great Sky QI Arts at this age. Then the senior in front of Zhang Guang said that it was admirable. The senior master on the right asked his colleague how is Zhang Guang doing. Then the other senior asked him if isn't this the first time someone has achieved it at that speed, and his colleague said that it was right. A genius must receive proper tutelage. Then he asked him if Zhang Guang wanted to, how teach him the clear supreme sky qi supreme sky qi arts too. But the other senior master was shocked and confused at that moment. 
Then he told him that he needed to be at least at the level of an elder to learn the clear supreme sky qi arts, and he asked him if won't others oppose it. But according to this senior, Zhang Guang's skills are enough to keep them quiet. If they see him personally, they can't help but accept it. And the other senior agreed with him. Then he said that it was all about his internal energy, and he asked him what about martial arts. Suddenly, this senior was speechless at that moment. Then he said that it's the same goes for martial arts too. He absorbs everything he teaches him. He doesn't miss anything. Moreover, he's full of passion and the senior was confused about how can he not look forward to it. However, when the founder of the sect found his Tao a long time ago, it was said that a dragon flew over Mount Kunlun, and Zhang Guang will become a dragon too. Five years later, Zhang Guang was reading a book at that moment. While reading it, according to him, there's something weird. Then he was suddenly stunned and confused about why are they teaching him the wrong Kunlun martial arts. Instantaneously, he went down and said that he needed to find out, and now he was heading to the library. Then he entered, and the man in front asked him if he was there to read a martial arts book. Then Zhang Guang told them yes, and there was something he was curious about, so he was there to search for it. Nonetheless, these two just smirked and the guy on the right told Zhang Guang that he was working so hard. Instantaneously, Zhang Guang immediately checked the book, and he was suddenly startled at that moment. Then he said that he wasn't wrong. According to the Kunlun, martial arts are very flashy and elegant. But he was confused about why it changed to this. However, the two men were gossiping at that moment. Then the man beside Zhang Guang asked his companion if have he ever thought like that, the fourth brother and he said that he was anxious because the demon cult is quiet. But the other man asked him if he also thought the same as him. At that moment, while Zhang Guang was listening to them, he was just speechless. But he was confused about the demon cult, and if they were talking about the heavenly demon cult. Nevertheless, the man on the left said that still the true heavenly demon is gone, so it will be quiet for a while. Then the other, man laughed and told him that he was right, the root of all evil is dead. Zhang Guang was listening to them, and he was curious if they were talking about him. This man gritted his teeth and said that just looking at that bastard's invasion record made him shiver, and his companion agreed with him too. At this point, Zhang Guang was looking at them and he was confused about what he do. And they don't know how hard he had to work to supervise those kids. Then suddenly, he remembered his past and this man was calling him, and told him that they had to get rid of the bastards from Kunlun. At that moment, he was confused and he asked his disciples what are they going to do to those bastards who were no match for them. Then the disciple was shocked and he asked his master if don't he need to step on them for the dignity of the cult. But his master told him to inform the elder about that. However, the disciple told him that he was going to ask the cult leader instead of the young master. He sighed and told his disciple to go ahead and not exterminate the entire sect, and don't go overboard. Going back to the present, Zhang Guang just smirked according to him, it was right, he told him not to go overboard. But he was confused about what that guy meant by the root of all evil. At this point, Zhang Guang was mad upon hearing the two men in the library. The first man said that he couldn't believe he started seven wars in a hundred years and he was crazy about blood. Then the second man said that it is because of the true heavenly demon, many martial arts have been lost in the last one hundred years. Zhang Guang immediately scratched his head and he was confused about it, according to him, he told them to not go overboard. And martial arts techniques got lost because of him. All of a sudden, the man on the left said that they were talking about something so scary in front of Zhang Guang, who was still young. But the other man just laughed at that moment. Then he told Zhang Guang to don't become a bad guy like a true heavenly demon. This man laughed and said that if it was Zhang Guang, he might even save the world. Then they immediately leave and they both laugh at that moment. However, Zhang Guang was reading the book, and according to him, everything they said was true. Since he became the young master of the sect, his interpretation of books has changed. Zhang Guang read the book and it was written there that being concise and unsophisticated won't make him stronger. Then Zhang Guang smirked and said that it was a stupid thing. According to him, he can't just let it slide when they say it's his fault and he's gonna get the original Kunlun martial arts. At this point, someone was practicing martial arts. Then suddenly, 
This man was startled when someone called him Brother Zhang Wu. After seeing that it was Zhang Guang, he was so glad and asked him what the matter was. Then Zhang Guang smiled and asked Zhang Wu if he could spar with him. According to Zhang Guang, he needed to start with the easiest person. Instantaneously, Zhang Wu agreed with Zhang Guang and he told him that he would see how much he had improved. Then he will let him attack first. According to Zhang Guang, although Zhang Wu had heard that he was a genius, he wouldn't fight him using much energy since he was young. However, Zhang Guang told him that he would start with the cloud chasing fist. Then Zhang Wu told him to come at him when he was ready. At that moment, Zhang Guang was just looking at him. Then suddenly, his speed was fast, and Zhang Wu was shocked after seeing him. Then in an instant, Zhang Guang appeared in front of Zhang Wu. Zhang Wu was startled and he was puzzled. Then Zhang Guang's fist was near to his hand. But Zhang Guang was fast, and he attacked Zhang Wu, but he managed to dodge. He was curious about Zhang Guang's movements. Zhang Guang clenched his fists, and all of a sudden, he punched Zhang Wu. But he still managed to dodge. He was startled when he saw Zhang Guang's fist was near at him. But Zhang Wu blocked it, and Zhang Guang was looking at him angrily. Instantaneously, Zhang Guang kicked him, and he landed safely on the ground. Zhang Wu was shocked and told him that it was really excellent, and he managed to land a hit. However, according to Zhang Wu, Zhang Guang's technique is too fancy. The cloud chasing fist is fast and strong. Zhang Guang smirked and said that it wasn't the cloud chasing fist. One should move freely when chasing clouds. But Zhang Wu told him not to say such words in front of the old men, they would scold him. Zhang Guang was startled and he was confused about it. Then he said that he'd do the original. In an instant, he prepared himself, and he suddenly attacked Zhang Wu. Then Zhang Wu told him that it was right, and just like that. Zhang Guang tried to kick him but Zhang Wu managed to dodge. Then he was heading again to Zhang Wu and attacked him, and Zhang Wu blocked it. He smiled and he told Zhang Guang that it was good. According to him, as expected, their youngest is a genius. But Zhang Guang told him that he dodged all of it. Then Zhang Wu told him that it was pretty easy to read his movements. However, Zhang Guang told him that this time, he would do the same thing as he did initially. Instantaneously, he attacked Zhang Guang, and Zhang Wu was just blocking it, and he was startled. According to him, this technique is hard to deal with since he can't predict his attacks. But he just can't let him do this. At this point, Zhang Guang was ready to attack him. Then he was startled, and he was preparing himself for Zhang Guang's attack. Zhang Guang was looking at him, and he attacked Zhang Wu, but still Zhang Wu dodged it. But he was shocked when he saw that Zhang Guang disappeared in his front. All of a sudden, he was kicked at his back, and he suddenly fell to the ground at that moment. Zhang Wu was stunned and he couldn't believe that it happened. Nonetheless, he stood up and he was touching his back, and at the same time, he was confused about how Zhang Guang did it. Then Zhang Guang smiled and asked him how was it, was it stronger if he did it like that? According to Zhang Wu, the moment he thought he caught Zhang Guang, he suddenly disappeared like a dispersing cloud. All of a sudden, Zhang Wang swallowed and he was confused about how a mere 13-year-old kid can do that. However, Zhang Wu glanced at Zhang Wang, and according to him, Alter Kunlun's martial arts had been refined by their ancestor for many years. Moreover, unlike the way of the Tao, it's too flashy. Suddenly, Zhang Wang asked him if wasn't it cool, and Zhang Wu was shocked and told him that yes, it was. Then Zhang Guang told him that he would teach it to him. But Zhang Wu was startled and he told him to wait for a second. Nevertheless, Zhang Guang told him that he'd show him one more time, so he must look carefully. At this point, Zhang Wu was looking and following Zhang Guang. But he was stunned and in his mind, altering martial arts without permission can be considered a serious offense as it can be seen as contempt to their ancestors. All of a sudden, they were both startled when one of the masters asked them what are they doing. This man was Hyojik and he was mad at that moment. Then he told them to answer him quickly since he asked them what they were doing. Zhang Guang was annoyed and he was confused about where did that old man come from. Then he told him that he was just showing Zhang Wu. The cloud chasing fist. All of a sudden, 
Heojik was heading to them and he asked Zhang Guang if that was the cloud chasing fist. According to Zhang Wu, Zhang Guang was in trouble. Since he's still young, it looks like he doesn't know how serious it is to alter the martial arts. Then he immediately told the master to please calm down and talk first. But Hyojik stretched his ear and asked him that his elder brother, how could he teach such nonsense to his junior? At that moment, Zhang Wu was just puzzled and the master told him to follow him immediately. However, Zhang Wu glanced at Zhang Guang and according to him, this is actually better. He'd have to teach the youngest well after the master scolds him. Suddenly, Zhang Guang called their master. Then Hyojik told him sorry, but they will talk later. Nonetheless, Zhang Guang told the master that he was the one who altered the cloud chasing fist. Then these two were both shocked and master Hyojik was confused about it. Meanwhile in this hall, master Hyojik was mad and he told master Heo Chung that this isn't something they can simply ignore. Then Heo Chung was startled and asked him what did he want him to do and why is he shouting so much. But Hyojik asked him why he was so calm. Then he asked him if he already knew how serious this matter was. Nevertheless, Heo Chung asked him so what, and if should he punish him for the sin of contempt towards the ancestors. Then Heo Chung said sorry to him, and he told Hyojik that there was no need to aggravate the situation like that. But Hyojik asked him if should they just let him off. Then Heo Chung told him that he didn't think they should. And Hyojik asked him what did he think they should do. At that moment, Heo Chung was speechless and Zhang Guang was smiling while looking at him. According to him, there's no one better than Heo Chung when it comes to calming that old man, Hyojik. Heo Chung was thinking and said that well, he understood. Then he decided that he would see it and make the judgment himself. Instantaneously, he told Zhang Guang to show him his cloud chasing fist. Then Zhang Guang smiled and told him yes, master. At this point, they were outside and the two master were looking at Zhang Guang. Then Zhang Guang showed them his cloud chasing fist. Then both of them were shocked and Hyojik asked Heo Chung what he think and if he see the seriousness of the situation now. Heo Chung was shocked and he was just speechless. According to him, Hyojik wasn't exaggerating. Suddenly, Hyojik called him again and he was waiting for his answer but he's still not answering in. He suddenly smiled and in his mind, his disciple is actually a genius. Hyojik was annoyed and he was confused about what was up with that fool Heo Chung. However, Zhang Guang was startled and according to him, it's still not enough. He think he can improve it further by combining it with his own methods. And Zhang Guang was confused if it shouldn't matter. Then suddenly, the old man founder appeared. He told Zhang Guang that of course, none of it matters if he can bring Kunlun to a new height. Then Zhang Guang asked him how about doing this there, and suddenly he kicked the founder, but he just managed to dodge it. Then the old man founder told him that isn't it, he punk. It's obvious that he's trying to kill. But Zhang Guang told him not to call him punk because he'd lived a long life himself. All of a sudden, the old man founder was shocked and he told Zhang Guang that it looks pretty good, though, and he was better than he expected. Then Zhang Guang told him that he could even do more than that. The old man founder was shocked after seeing Zhang Guang do more, and he told him that he was the founding ancestor. However, Zhang Guang smirked and in his mind, that old man, was pretty adorable. But he was confused if this should be enough to satisfy even the old man. While he was standing, the senior master said that it looked like he was finished. Then Zhang Guang glanced at them with a smiling face and he asked Heo Chung what does he think, and if it was cool. These two were startled at that moment, and suddenly, a senior master appeared behind them, and said that it was really cool. Then they were both shocked after hearing a voice behind them. Suddenly, the turned back and he saw the older master. Then the older master asked them why are they so surprised. According to this master, he didn't feel any malicious energy from Yung Guang's movements just now. In that case, he should help this young dragon out. However, he told them that there's no need to worry, and just trust him on that. What they have witnessed is a blessing for their sect. Meanwhile, inside the hall, these seniors were talking about Zhang Guang and their sect. One of them said that their Kunlun's martial arts have never been about fierceness and extravagance. Then the other senior said that it was an outdated concept, martial arts are meant to be developed by their descendants. 
But one of them was confused about isn't exaggerating the postures by abandoning the true intention behind the movements, and isn't something they can overlook. Then someone said that he agreed. They have to uphold the teachings of their Kunlun ancestors. All of a sudden, the two masters and Zhang Guang came. Zhang Guang was stunned while looking at him and in his mind, it was such a mess. But since the old senior told him to trust him, he's just waiting. All of a sudden, this senior master winked at Zhang Guang. Then suddenly he asked the elder if shouldn't they listen to his explanations first. In an instant, they were silent and they followed what the senior master told them. Then he asked Zhang Guang if he could tell them why he altered the cloud chasing fist like that. According to Zhang Guang, it's way faster if he convinces them himself. Then Zhang Guang asked them if he had done something wrong Kunlun's martial arts are supposed to be cool, right? But these two elders were mad and the elder on the right said that it was nonsense. Kunlun's martial arts aren't anything like that. Then Zhang Guang told them that he thought it was. He asked them that when their founder got his enlightenment, didn't he fly in the sky while letting out the azure dragon roar? And why did they think he let out such a loud roar? These two elders were shocked and the elder on the right told Zhang Guang that it was because he was filled with true QI after reaching enlightenment. Then Zhang Guang told them that no, he just wanted to brag. But the old man founder was mad and asked him what did he say. Then Zhang Guang told the elders that the founder just wanted everyone to look at him. But he asked them if have they ever heard of a surge of true QI caused by enlightenment. Then these two were startled and said no, they hadn't. Nonetheless, Zhang Guang asked them if have any of them experienced it before, and they said no. Then Zhang Guang smiled and told them that it was natural that the founder wanted to look good and brag about it. And the two elder were both speechless at that moment. However, Zhang Guang clenched his fist and said that there was nothing wrong with being cool. But he was confused or if Taoists not allowed to be cool. That's all for today, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wish to have another Manhua recap like this, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you will be updated for more content like this. Until next time.